Hey guys, how's it going? Hope everybody's doing well. I'm here today with another update on my eye. Um, my last update that I filmed was in late March. It is now mid-May. Uh, in between that time, my focus as well as the surgeons was going to be just on healing and applying antibiotic ointment to the conformer and hopefully at this time I was going to be held enough to move on to the process of having the actual prosthetic eye made. In between that time it was not intended that I was going to be having to go back to the surgeon for anything. Unfortunately that did not happen. I actually had to go back to his office on two separate occasions. Uh, one time was for um, a stitch that had been overlooked on the day that we went in to have them removed. There was one right along my lash line in the corner of my eye um, that was there. Um, that was not an uncommon thing that happens. Um, honestly, my family didn't even see it. I, I felt something strange, but my family never saw it. It was actually a friend of mine that, that saw it. And um, whenever my friend pointed out, you know, here's where it is and blew it up in a picture, they that's whenever it was like, okay, there it is. So I went and got that done no big deal but um about a few weeks later one morning i woke up and i was just in excruciating pain back to the point where prior to my surgery back when i had my eye and obviously that wasn't right and whenever my family looked at it really closely it was extremely red and irritated and so they're like, that's obviously not right, especially for the fact that it was happened overnight. And my first thought was, okay, well, maybe it's allergies because here in Central Texas, with it being springtime, you know, grass and pollen and weeds and oak and everything are just really high. And with my eye no longer there and me wearing the conformer, I was like, okay, well, maybe I'm a lot more susceptible now to allergies. So whenever we called and asked if I should just do a allergy eye drop for anti-itch or something, they're like, no, why don't you just come in and let us look at it? So we did, and they're like, okay, well, it's, there's no infection, which is good, but what they determined was the cause was prolonged use of the antibiotic ointment that they had me on. And we were like, okay, well, what actually causes that? And they said, well, it doesn't happen in a lot of patients. So as soon as they said that, I'm like, okay, well, I'm the exception to anything. Whenever you say something where it doesn't happen a lot, it happens to me. So nothing unusual. But so we got all that taken care of. I got, I got taken off that medication and just told an alternative method of something to do. So everything's been going fine. And as of this past Monday, I've been given the green light to go ahead with the process of making the prosthesis with an ocularist. So not this upcoming week, but the following week, I will be meeting with the ocularist to get the process started. Um, and I am honestly, I am terrified and the surgeon tried to tell me, you know, this is, you already, you had the surgery. The surgery is the hard part. The prosthesis is the easy part. I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> but obviously I'm gonna get through it. I have no choice, but emotionally, this is the most terrifying thing to me because I don't wanna have to deal with the making of it and the inserting and removing and the cleaning and just but hopefully there's a lot of support groups out there supposedly with the ocularist I don't even I, I, I don't want to think about it right now but 
that's the latest update and I know I'll be giving you another update once I meet with the oculist after I have the consultation and everything and we get that process started but um, thank you for continuing to follow along on this journey and I will talk to y'all later bye